The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called in Hebrew Bethsaida with five porticos, and these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I'm on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, rise, take up your mat and walk. Immediately, this man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> so our first reading is from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. And one of the things that is so beautiful about this reading is that Ezekiel is seeing this image of the temple and this water which is flowing forth from the temple. This water that will give life to every living creature, according to the prophet we hear in the first reading today, that will give life to every living creature. And you know, it's such a foreshadowing of that ultimate sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. That blood and that water which poured forth from him, which also gives life, which also gives new life to us through the church, through her sacraments. If we flip into our gospel today, which is from the gospel of John, we see that there's this, been this man who's been hanging out at the pools of Bethsaida for 38 years, not by his choice, obviously. He has been sick for a long time. He's been ill, he's been infirmed. And so one of the things is, you can imagine each and every day he sits at this pool and he thinks to himself, is this going to be the day? Is this going to be the day that I get to go down to the waters? And as soon as maybe in his mind he thinks, I'm going to make it today, guess what? Somebody gets in front of him and makes it to the water before him. You can imagine the frustration, the disappointment, the letdown that this man endured every single day. And maybe even on this particular day that he had this encounter with Jesus, he thought, I'm just going to go sit here. But maybe in my heart of hearts, I know that today will be the day that I'm healed. And guess what? Today, as we hear in the scripture, was that day for that man. Today was the day in which he had that encounter with Jesus, and Jesus tells him what? Jesus says, pick up your mat, rise, take up your mat, and walk. What does the man do? He rises, he takes up that mat, and he walks. And you know, we can imagine the great excitement. Maybe even there's a little bit of, or a lot of joy that this man experiences at being healed by the word of Jesus. But you know, even more importantly than those physical healings, 
which, brothers and sisters, Jesus still does, even in the world today, is the spiritual healing that Jesus comes to bring each and every one of us. You see, it's through that blood and through that water of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross that we are healed. And especially during this Lenten season, the church is calling us to this season of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving as this opportunity to say, okay, what is it that we need to be healed from? What is it that we really need to work on in that relationship with Jesus Christ? And so today, as we prepare to receive Jesus in the Eucharist, we ask him, Lord, whatever it is that we need to be healed from, maybe it's cynicism, maybe it's a lack of faith, maybe it's even some desperation, Lord. Whatever those things that we may need to be healed from today, Lord Jesus, we name them and we place them here upon this altar. Lord, we know that as your first reading says from the prophet Ezekiel, that that blood and water, that blood that flowed forth from the temple, it will give life to all living things. And so, Lord, in the Eucharist today, we ask that you give us life. Help us to continue to grow in life and love of you, Jesus. And we ask this all today in your holy name.